It's a beautiful sunny morning at the south end of CSX's Winston Yard. Welcome back to the Sunshine State Rails. This beautiful morning on November 23rd, 2019, we have ventured out to CSX's Central Florida region to try and photograph and videograph some trains for the day. We begin high in the sky above Winston Yard. Sitting at the south end in there is a long empty phosphate train that came in the night before as K81119. This train hosts some very special power, including a Union Pacific and a CEFX locomotive. This train wouldn't exit the yard on our trip today, but on the contrary, another train was departing that in my opinion was way better. Coming out of the south end of Winston Yard right now is CSX train 075123. This train brought back for peak season is normally an auto rack train running from Winston to Palm Center and back. But for some reason today, he was doing 0730's work, which includes many customers south of Winston Yard. Coming out of the south end, this train has a leader that wouldn't be special to most people, but definitely is to me. CSXT 5301. If you've seen any prior videos of this engine from me, you'll know that it is the first CSX engine that I ever caught before. So when I see it, it's very special. And after waiting a little over a year from when I last saw it, we get to see her again. Linked behind her is one of CSX's new ST70 AHs, number 8900. We gave a short chase to 751 a couple of miles south. We get to see 5301 at speed. She still wears the same paint, horn, and bell as when I first caught her in 2016. run back up to Plant City reveals CSX train 0709 backing on to the A line from the S line using the Plant City turnout to head back west toward Tampa on the A line switching one more customer in between the switches at Cherry Siding. tell by the sound of the train passing by, the Loram Rail Grinder has been here quite recently. It's that time of the day folks, Amtrak time. Amtrak PO9122 making his way down from New York headed to Miami is coming back out of Tampa headed east to Auburndale where he'll turn south and head straight for Miami. Heading past us here at Plant City, Mr. Aaron Carter is at the helm. Winston and Q453 headed to the same place as Amtrak was coming our way and though he would go to Winston I didn't know which way he would go via Plant City or Lakeland so we went to Vitus where I knew he'd go by regardless and it didn't dawn on me how close he really was until we got to Vitus he was only a couple minutes out when we got there
headed for Miami, this train's got quite the set of industry on its hands. This train includes a miscellaneous freight, empty rock bound for Miami, loaded rock bound for Winston, and a ton of other stuff that I'm not exactly educated on. But all this is headed for either Okeechobee, Winston, or Miami. One more train for us to catch today back in Plant City, the infamous Q442 coming out of Tampa with 7,000 feet of mixed freight headed for Waycross, Georgia and will arrive there later tonight. Also, it seems as if Plant City has become quite popular recently. The last two weekends I've been here, there's been a fair-sized crowd on the platform. No special events or anything like that, just a weekend. And after a nicely laxed day out on the Sunshine State Rails, it's our time to head home. It was a beautiful day today, and though there weren't too many trains, I had fun catching the ones we got. Also, we got to see 5301 once again, which I am very happy about. So with that being said in Plant City, this is Coder Banner, and I'll see you next time on the Sunshine State Rails.